yes welcome back to queen's wednesday and uh yes as we promised we still have a lot lined up for you on this particular day my name is barry mosses or it's barry Mon every social media platform and our family platforms are at y254 channel on twitter y254 underscore channel on instagram and y254 on facebook on facebook we have a question for you and uh it's for the guys in relationships and the people who would like to be in relationships what kind of relationship would you like to be in uh, uh, the kind where a man provides and uh, the lady submits or people meet somewhere at the center. We'd like to get your views, comments and suggestions. But without much further ado, uh, our first guest is in studio. She goes by the name Evangelist Faith Wairimu. She has amazing work that she's doing, which is definitely going to inspire you. Karibu sana. Asante sana, nice to be here. Uh, nice to have you as well. Thank I you. only see you online. I never even knew <laughs> it was you I was going to meet today. But it's a blessing for sure. Thank you. Your camera is number four. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to introduce yourself uh, like the CS of education. All credentials right? listed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, good morning, viewer. We are so glad to have you locked on this channel, and I'm sure you're going to have an amazing time. And my name is Evangelist Faith Wairimu. I have a, a couple of portfolios. So the first one is that I am a pastor and evangelist at the Manifest Sons of God Church, which is located on the Eastern Bypass at a place called Corner. And maybe some of you have seen me in your counties hosting crusades. I have been hosting crusades in our uh, counties. Yeah, so... Other than that, in my secular world, I am a regional director for Education USA, which is uh, a part of State Department, US government, and we love to help uh, Kenyan students and students in the region of Africa to go study in the US. So that's what I do on my 8 to 5 uh, work. Other than that, I love charity, I love engaging with women, and so I have a mentorship program for women in Moranga County where I work with widows to help them start businesses. I also you know, love orphans, and so I also do a lot of charity work to orphanages. So by God's grace, that's, that's who I am. I'm also a blessed mother of two, a boy and a girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we say hi to them? Are they watching right now? Hi. <laughs> hi, son and daughter. Hi, good morning. Amani and Ariana, beautiful names right there. All right, so uh, this is why I love uh, working with preachers on sets, because mm -hmm. uh, you're used to this. Uh, mm -hmm. You just picked up the torch <laughs> and ran with it. Uh, but welcome to Why in the Morning. Uh, the first thing that got my attention, mm -hmm. we are living in the information, mm -hmm. is this website that you have on every uh, bio of your social media pages. Mm -hmm. This is msgchurch.org. Yes. And uh, when I opened the website, I saw the world exactly. and then there's find location that is what i'm focused on <laughs> find location you really adapted te to technology uh, during this uh, day and age how does this uh, church work because i was uh, hoping to see this mm -hmm. find a location you, you need to find a location uh -huh. so it's, it's interesting that we are living in the information age as you rightly say mm -hmm. and our world is basically shaped by technology and mm -hmm. we if, if you don't embrace technology, it's going to just run you over. Mm -hmm. And so what we have done is that we have a, a virtual part of the church mm -hmm. where we engage with people on Wednesday for Bible study on Sunday mm -hmm. for um, a Sunday service. And then on Fridays, we have many catchers, 10 to midnight. Uh, but the most importantly is that if you want to worship with us in person, you can come to our church. Mm -hmm. Before COVID, pre-COVID, because COVID has just uh, yes. changed the world, mm -hmm. we used to be at Uhuru Park where mm -hmm. we had crusades. And then we'd go to the counties to mm -hmm. do crusades in the counties. Then every first Saturday of the month, I'm at All Saints Cathedral. Mm -hmm. And we have a wonderful program for women called Royal Diadems. Mm -hmm. We just sit at, as, as King's Daughters and talk about what God is telling the women. Mm -hmm. I've also traveled around the continent of Africa doing crusades preaching the gospel so we are in, in multiple places if you go to some countries uh, like Burundi Tanzania then you will find people who know us who love us all right yes so this is the reason why we need to find a location you need to you find, find a location you find a location that's to, that is closest to you to you yes all right msgchurch.org uh, uh, find the website uh, so you can be blessed in the Amen. process as well that's I'd right. like to know uh, mm -hmm. at what point in your life you met Christ and decided to serve him in this way Oh my world, I've had a journey, it's been a journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the, the first time I got born again, I was 12 years. Uh, yeah, I think I was 11. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Myself. And I was so excited that I was born again. Mm -hmm. And when I went home and I told guys, you know what, I've been born again. Mm -hmm. My cousin looked at me, she said, people like you can't be born again. She said, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe mm. that's not my, uh -huh. my line. 
Yeah. All right. Did you feel discouraged after oh, in no. your work after after you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, you know what happens is that then you begin to have the spiritual work with God. You begin to read the Bible mm -hmm. and become that that, pious, that kind of person. But mm -hmm. whereas when you look at your age mates, peer pressure is real. They mm -hmm. are doing other things. They are interested in dancing to Macarena. They, mm -hmm. You know, they are in, interested in all, I all can these tell things the things that are happening. From. I'm a nineties kid. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I had an amazing time. Uh -huh. And then, um, you know, I went to high school, preached a bit in high school. Uh, but again, in high school, that's when I, I, I think I decided to create my world and to try to find out who I was, what I was interested in. And so I started clubbing when I was in high school and I had a really good time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, later on, because it, it, it broke my mom's heart so much. I just she never knew before. Oh, my world. So you were doing it Chinyamaji, that's how it's No, we did it Chinyamaji until one day we got caught. <laughs> you <And> always get <laughs> You know, you can All only right. lie for yes. X number of jump sessions. For, I think 40, 40 days. <laughs> Ours was not even 40. Was the less. grace was not that sufficient. All right, All right so you caught by your mom. Yes. She's very disappointed. Oh my God. A strong Christian. Yes. Uh, raising mm -hmm. a, ch a children in the right way. Mm -hmm. Uh, going to church. All right. Going mm -hmm. to church every Sunday. Yes. And then she finds out a daughter, a beautiful oh my daughter. Oh, God. Going to jump session. Going to jump and session. I, and I think what broke her heart was the fact that we will go to church. It was called English service in, yeah. in PCA. Yeah. And then... In the morning. In the morning. Mm -hmm. And then we'd have lunch as family. And in the afternoon. And then when she goes for something we call district, uh -huh. we chomoka with white jeans so that we can reflect. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We go party. Uh -huh. And then we come back. All right. And she couldn't, and she, she was like, this must be the devil's work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moral of the story. Next time you're going out, to wear white jeans for reflection. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> All right. So she found out, uh, she, after she found out, mm -hmm. uh, how was your relationship after? Because there are so many people who go through this phase with their parents, especially daughters, because uh, sons get away with it most of the time. Yes, they do. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I clubbed with my brother, and my brother uh -huh. kind of, you know, my. It was light for him. A yes. Bit, my yeah. mom was like, you know, if you want to. To, to waste your life like that. Just waste it. it just waste you, it. <laughs> By me. To protect you. I didn't have a chance anywhere <laughs> to waste it. Okay. So how was the relationship after that, during that period, after you were caught? How was that relation? I think one of the things that, uh, and I would like to speak to teens right now, mm -hmm. is that... Look them straight into the eyes right Our parents really trust us, mm -hmm. you know? Our parents want to vouch for us and they want to believe that we are the people that we reflect to them. Mm -hmm. Our parents want to believe that we are not double-sided, that, that, that you are who you represent yourself to them. Mm -hmm. And so my mom was really heartbroken the day she found out that I was clubbing. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, if somebody told me that she met you or he met you in Nakuru town at Coco Savannah, mm -hmm. I would say the devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. Because she trusted me. She, she mm -hmm. trusted that I was going to make the right decisions. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell this to you. Don't break your parents' trust. Mm -hmm. And don't do stuff behind their back. If you're going to go to the club, please tell them. Have that conversation with them. And, 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 and try to tell them why you want to do that. And it is not the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Because I can tell you that it's by God's grace that I got out of that lifestyle. Because mm -hmm. most of the people that I clubbed with were in solar. So getting caught was a blessing. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a blessing, but I will never forget how disappointed my mom was. How did, so you always see that face, yes. and you don't want to, uh, you don't want a recurrence of that. Yes, and oh. one day she told me, if the club is too good, why don't you tell me what it is that you have in the club? I can buy it here if it's the big speakers, I will buy it. And, and then you can have your club in the house. <laughs> All right, but it, can't I, <laughs> it can't be the same, especially the playlist. <laughs> and the DJ, I'm going to bring the DJ. Too. All right. <laughs> I like that. So, uh, the relationship between parents and, and kids mm -hmm. should be an open one. It must be an open relationship. I want to tell you, no, I want to let you know that your parents trust you. If there's something that we do as parents, is that we trust our children. We trust mm -hmm. the process. Mm -hmm. We want to trust that they are becoming the people that we are modeling them mm -hmm. to be. And because we are also role models, you know, mm -hmm. we are working our best. We are human beings. We have our imperfections, mm -hmm. but we are trying our best to show our children who we want them to be, mm -hmm. by observation, because kids learn by observation. Mm -hmm. And don't break that relationship. Be open with your parents. Be don't open with your parents. Them, you so know, kids have been home for seven months oh now. Uh, <laughs> a lot has happened during these yes. seven months. Yes. They have learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, my friend was telling me when they go back to school, mm -hmm. uh, teachers need to be very careful because we're making our janja son. Mm. Oh my world. May God redeem and deliver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> but you work with kids uh, yes, often. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that works? Because we might say we want an open relationship between parents and kids, mm -hmm. but kids 
a tricky people that is for sure i was a kid once That's and right. i know i was a tricky person mm -hmm. what works how do you break that that wall how do you uh, make a child open up I after working with kids the, the first thing that i will say is that as parents we don't give our children time mm -hmm. And, and I think I'm an example of that parent who mm -hmm. is so strained because I am doing multiple things. I travel mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I may not have time. Mm -hmm. But creating quality time, if I'm going to spend 30 minutes with you, mm -hmm. I'm going to spend 30 quality minutes with you. Number two, understanding oh. the love language. Mm -hmm. Because our children have very different love languages. Mm -hmm. So for my firstborn son, mm -hmm. it's doing activities with him. Mm -hmm. That is his love language. He wants to teach me how to play the PlayStation. That is his love language. And he gets so heartbroken that I've still not <laughs> learned. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but you're improving, yeah? But I hope so. No disappointment. So. Yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to work on that, uh -huh. definitely. And then my, my daughter, have, her love language is me looking at her. Mm -hmm. She wants me to look at her as she's doing everything. So you can imagine the whole day, mommy look, mommy look, and I'm just looking. So as parents, once you spend quality time, you begin to understand mm -hmm. what their love language is. Mm -hmm. And also understanding that buying things for our children is not it. It will never cover for your absence. Buying kids, buying things for your kids will never cover for your absence. It won't. It That's won't. a powerful lesson right there. Mm -hmm. So learn the love language. Yes. Uh, it helps them. Child with your child mm -hmm. spend quality time with yes, them yes. not uh time on your phone not and your they're phone on the other side eating rebos, fries yes and this <coughs> reward you know uh, leave your phone switch it off let them know that this is my time with you it's gonna be 30 minutes uh -huh. but you got me you have my time all right let's spend it together Thank you very much for the wise words right there. Remember, we're on Facebook at Y254 channel, Twitter at Y254 underscore channel, Instagram at Y254 underscore channel. Remember, we have a question for you. It's about relationships. Head straight to Facebook so we can know what you think, where your head is at. And don't forget to tell us where you're watching us from. I'm very interested in this project you have in Moranga mm -hmm. uh, with the widows. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why widows first? Uh, it, it was a very interesting way how I got myself in this. So mm -hmm. uh, Bishop Kanyaru at um, uh, Deliverance Church in Moranga, who's the original bishop, used to invite me to speak to, to, to preach during the women's uh, meetings, mm -hmm. which I did for a couple of years. And then one day we were having a, a, a focus groups and breakout rooms. So he said, mm -hmm. you know, I feel that you should go and minister to the widows. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and I said, what am I supposed to tell them? Mm -hmm. Because, I, you know, I understand that they've gone through emotional hearts they, uh -huh. they have lost so much and, and, and i was wondering whether i was the right person to go and speak to them uh -huh. and so that's how i got engaged with them uh -huh. so anytime we had these uh, so sometimes god uses other people to to to, to show you the path that exactly. is he has intended for you uh -huh. all right and that is why it is important for you to understand that it is critical that you work with the right people uh -huh. because when you work with the right people uh -huh. god will use them to reveal yourself to you uh -huh. So he could see a gift in me of working with widows, which I never saw. Mm -hmm. But it took Bishop Canero to tell me, you know, you can do this. And I believe mm -hmm. that you're going to be successful in it. Mm -hmm. And so we started having meetings with them. Mm -hmm. And one day after we had prayed, worshipped, and, you know, and, and just had a one-on-one, -on -one, and, you know, just, we, we, we used to have those moments when we would, you know, just have mm -hmm. to, to have to hard talks. And you wouldn't believe how we traumatize our widows in this country. Mm -hmm. It is wrong, and we need to rethink the process. We need to rethink the process. Yes. Of how we, how we treat widows. our widows, yes. but remember, it's a, it's a it's a it's a complex uh, dynamic because we have forty three cultures in this country, yes, and have. each culture has a way of dealing with the uh, widows. That's right. Uh, and it's very hard to merge to find uh, to find uh, a conclusive uh, way of doing it among uh, forty two cultures. Uh, so, how what do you think is the way forward? Because I'm, I'm I'm also hurt. Mm -hmm. are the way uh, mm -hmm. they're treated. Yes, mm -hmm. and, I, and I think we need to find common ground. Mm -hmm. And the first common ground is this is a human being, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. Who has just gone through loss mm -hmm. and uh, they, they, they need us as community mm -hmm. to, to embrace them. Mm -hmm. And so one of the common things that we heard is that you're married, so we hang out with all these married couples. The time somebody's husband dies, all the other women feel insecure. Mm -hmm. Now you, you are single, you're going to take my husband. So they've lost their husband and then they lose friends because mm -hmm. of the insecurity amongst their friends. And I'm not saying that it is everyone because I will be generalizing it, which is not right. Mm -hmm. But pushing these people away when they need that support. Mm -hmm. And then worse still is when we have people who are married and their husbands built in their parents' homes. Mm -hmm. And so the, the husband is, is dead 
and the brothers are very abrasive with them mm -hmm. the sister-in-laws are like M my brother's dead so it happens across the country yes it does uh -huh. happen everywhere and so th they become homeless uh -huh. and the parents of their if the father mother-in-law doesn't stand with them uh -huh. the brothers the sisters are going to kick them out all right so as uh as the family of the man mm -hmm. We also need to be very careful we in our to. We need to be more embracing. Uh -huh. And again, I say that there is no perfect human being. I am not a perfect human being. Mm -hmm. And if you look for faults in a human being, you will find one million. Definitely. Oh, you will write a book. So, <laughs> so always try to find the good things yes. in humans. Yes. Always try to find those uh, yes. those good things in them. Uh, and understanding that people grieve differently, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe this person was so nice when your brother was there, but now uh -huh. he's dead. Uh -huh. And maybe her way of grief grieving is going to make them not really nice to be around with allow mm -hmm. them time to to grieve all right mm -hmm. and like uh, the f uh, the part that you said uh, you use the word success mm -hmm. uh, you, the, the, the the bishop told you uh, you need to do this mm -hmm. or this is a path for you mm -hmm. and I think you're going to be successful at it people have different definitions of success, success yes. uh, but your success story what is your success story in this case my success story is that I was in a position to gain their trust mm -hmm. and that we could have very open conversations and we, you know we could pray together we did lunches i would go from nairobi go to moranga we have mm -hmm. lunches together and just have time to to speak and one day when i was leaving moranga i was very excited because we had such had we had had such a break we had prayed together we cried together and the lord said to me what are they going to eat mm -hmm. and i was like what mm -hmm. so i started praying about what the lord had said mm -hmm. And, you know, God told me, I am, I am asking you to help them start businesses. Mm -hmm. It's like, they were like 72 widows. I was like, mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. God. 72 I, businesses. Yes. I'm thinking, if running one business <laughs> is, 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 is hell on earth. And how do you even give them capital for mm -hmm. that? I was like, I don't know anyone at IMF or World Bank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet. Yes, right? Yeah, Yet. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so... Um, you know, the wonderful thing about God is that he will always provide. Uh -huh. If he gives you a vision, he's going to give you the provision for it. And so a couple of months later on my birthday, I went and met them and I said, you know what, we, we have been having this conversation about what you want to do, about the businesses you want to, to, to start. And we have had conversations about this. And I said, DJ has come. Mm -hmm. You tell us how much your capital is. Mm -hmm. And we sat in the church. Mm -hmm. My son was there. My son had never seen so much cash. <laughs> in his <laughs> life. <laughs> Mommy, what about me? I said, this one is for widows. <laughs> Men don't I qualify. like it already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's going to be a successful guy. Right? <laughs> he, has a, he has a high affinity point. He wanted point. to start a business too. <laughs> All right. Uh, but and is the Lord that you raised this capital? Yes. And uh, so far, money. how many businesses have been set up? They were, so the tw 21 women came and so mm -hmm. what, what we said is that what they needed to do is to give up uh, to give back a hundred shillings per month mm -hmm. and give it to the next lady mm -hmm. and that's how they were able to fund themselves mm -hmm. yes all right and so they started businesses and and they're financially stable and i bless the lord for that so this is currently happening in moranga yes with the widows mm -hmm. and i hope uh, this is going to spread across the country i hope because uh, so lives are lost every day people lose their dads every day yes and uh, unfortunately so widows are left behind mm -hmm. every single day yes uh, thank you very much uh, evangelist uh, faith Waremo. Mm -hmm. uh so uh as we progress uh, how is school by the way mm. school is great mm -hmm. i think 2020 is a gap here for everyone mm -hmm. <laughs> we've taken gaps uh -huh. and uh, i'm taking a gap here so um um, a master's student at uh, the famous mm. Fletcher School. Mm -hmm. It's one of the oldest public dim diplomacy schools in the world. Mm -hmm. And I am studying uh, international uh, law and diplomacy. Mm -hmm. I am looking forward to be through with it. Mm -hmm. And so I've done my first residency. I did it in Singapore mm -hmm. in January of 2019. Mm -hmm. And then life happened. I changed jobs. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to build up time for me to go for my next residency in Medford, uh, Massachusetts at mm -hmm. uh, Tufts University. Mm -hmm. But so far, so good. It's been such a wonderful experience. I've met wonderful people. Mm -hmm. I never imagined I'd be in the same class with an ambassador, which I did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just having those conversations and seeing the world at a very different um, perspective because of all um, the contributions that you're receiving in the class. Mm -hmm. And also to be taught by professors who are Nobel Peace Prize winners is, is amazing. Right. Uh, to have pro professors who are teaching the books they wrote, mm -hmm. wonderful conversations in class, which I'm very grateful to God for. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so being a, a woman in this uh, man's world, yes. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, the work that you're doing is uh, predominantly male, mm -hmm. especially uh, preaching, mm -hmm. diplomacy, 
uh, and the rest of the things. Uh, I remember you told me once you were told being saved is not something for a beautiful woman. Yes. All right. Yes. So <laughs> being a beautiful woman <laughs> in this position, uh, in this position right here, uh, what are some of the challenges uh, you go through or some of the stereotypes or some of the energy that people uh, direct towards you? I think one of the things that uh, I've realized is, is I, I, which never was apparent to me is that I'm female. Uh -huh. Oh, ili 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 come but die. Yes, ili come but die. You know when somebody tells you, but but you are a woman. And <laughs> that is a, when you realize, right? oh, <laughs> like, oh, okay. We are supposed to be different. <laughs> I'm supposed to to be less aggressive. Exactly. Uh -huh. Then you don't qualify. That's uh -huh. basically what they're telling you. Mm -hmm. Instead of telling you you don't qualify, they say, but but you are a woman, <laughs> right? All right. Um, and, and then some people will, will, will try to tell you, but you see, in Africa, women are not leaders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, we, so you we face are this every single yes. step of the way. Yes, yes. And, oh. and I've always told myself, well, I've got to keep my eyes on the goal mm -hmm. because God asked me to do things, these mm -hmm. things. And at the end of the day, the Bible says that a day comes of judgment and God mm -hmm. will hold me accountable for everything I said and for everything I did. All right. And I don't want to tell people, oh God, so you know, that guy, the tall one with the blue shirt told me that women don't do these things. I uh -huh. just want to do All right. <laughs> what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so women can do it. Women and can we, do they it. Should not, they should not be told they can't. Yes. And I, and I think uh, I would also like to, to speak to the girls out there mm -hmm. and to let them know that you can. You mm -hmm. can be successful. And I know that our society has talked about girls' empowerment. Uh, and, and, and it's a good thing for us to have this conversation about. But I want you to know that you can do it. But I want you to know that girl empowerment doesn't mean removing the place of the man because mm -hmm. then we create a very imbalanced society mm -hmm. and that is what we are seeing is the offshoot of focusing more on the girls and forgetting the boy child mm -hmm. if i raise my daughter as an empowered girl and mm -hmm. i don't raise my son as an empowered boy who is we going to marry all right it's going to be my brothers they are very happy because of that point <laughs> 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 they represent a different organization for That's the boy right. child so uh, girls need to do what they uh -huh. need to do if you want to study engineering uh -huh. go for it go and study engineering because you can you can be successful as an engineer uh -huh. and i remember you know growing up you, you will be told oh you know work hard so you can get married to a doctor why don't you become the doctor your mother yourself told you to <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, become that doctor because you can. Words right there <laughs> from evangelist faith. So I'm told humans are inherently discriminating. Sometimes you try to be just open-minded, but you find yourself just discriminated. That's right. That's right. That's all right. right. Mm -hmm. So which one is worse? The person who tells you, all right, a, a woman cannot do this, or the person who thinks it and doesn't tell you? I, I am open to criticism. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I, I, I so you'd rather have somebody who's going to criticize yes, yes. than just uh, think about it and mm -hmm. uh, and take some actions uh, on the low. Exactly, mm -hmm. because you see, when when somebody is open uh, with you and they say that you know I don't think women should do this, uh -huh. then they give you ground for conversation. Uh -huh. And, and you get to talk to them and, and, and try to understand where they're coming from, mm -hmm. as well as share why you're doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But the people who, are, who keep quiet, mostly what they do is that they sabotage you. Mm -hmm. They don't tell you no, mm -hmm. but they go Those ahead to make sure. Those are most dangerous. Those are dangerous people. <laughs> they smile with you and they say, God bless you, woman of God. <laughs> and then behind your back, they make sure you will never they stand on that pulpit to say anything. <laughs> God forgive you, people. <laughs> okay. So the, the next few questions are going to be opinion based mm -hmm. uh, so i'd like to know uh, the people who proposed uh, regulation mm -hmm. in churches mm -hmm. some time back mm -hmm. you have not seen it mm -hmm. uh, do you support it this is why i say uh -huh. regulation is good policy is good uh -huh. but do not create policy or regulation without being well founded uh -huh. I cannot regulate an industry that I'm not part and parcel of. Mm -hmm. I cannot regulate an industry that I am not working on research. Mm -hmm. So before you regulate the church, have you read the Bible? Do you know who God is? Mm -hmm. So that you do not get in his way. And this is what I'd say, is that God is not man. Mm -hmm. So you cannot step in his way and start saying, oh, you know, I'm going to do this to, to stop. You cannot stop God. Read the Bible very well. Mm -hmm. Today we are driven by AI, gene editing. All these things are happening in our time. But no one has been able to part the Red Sea God did. Mm -hmm. So before you regulate the church, conduct some research. Nobody has been able to part the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. God did. God did. Before you regulate the church, mm -hmm. do some research. Do some research. Research God. Uh -huh. Find out who God is. Oh, Have that relationship. Is. Be a prayerful person. Be spiritually 
guided because you can never regulate spiritual mm -hmm. things physically unless mm -hmm. you're looking for trouble which oh, you shouldn't oh god of all creation bless this our land and nation that's right. That's, right. <laughs> right. that's right thank you very much for that mm -hmm. schools are opening on monday for grade four yes uh class eight students and form fours mm -hmm. what's your take on that i know it's a bit controversial i've had many people say many things but this is what i want to say to the students mm -hmm. it is you who is going back to that classroom mm -hmm. You've been out of class, out of school for a long time. And there are things that are going to sound foreign, yet the teacher has taught you. And so I'm going to ask our learners to take it upon themselves to study extra hard. Mm -hmm. And teachers have taught you, and our education system is cumulative. So you are going to be asked from four, your KCSE questions are going to be drawn from form one to form three, form two, form three, form four. They're going to ask you questions across the board. And I want to address the students and say, this is your life. Mm -hmm. We are out of school, and if I try to go back to high school, it, it, it would not be right. But this is your chance. Mm -hmm. Go for it. You can do it. I know that you've been studying. If you've not been studying, it is still well. The Bible says that the memory of the righteous is blessed. May, may your memory be blessed. May God remind you everything you studied, and may you be successful in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. That is a word to the students. Mm -hmm. I wish we could talk to the parents, uh, but we are running out of time because parents have different struggles from the students, definitely. Yes. We have uh, to think about school fees. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we are not going to talk about that. That's the right. last one is uh, relationships, the mm -hmm. one that we have on Facebook. Yes. Uh, should, be the, should a man be the provider or should we meet uh, somewhere at the center should we go dutch um i i i i'm old school when it comes to relationships and man provides. provide thank you very much for yes <laughs> we, we, we are not gonna go dutch this time. <laughs> we are not gonna go dutch no. the man should provide according to evangelist Marimu. thank you very much for that i'll give you a few minutes to tell them how they can find you uh, on social media how they can catch your next someone and how they can get uh, to see your content. Thank you very much. And I want to let you know that I have a lot of content that I've created that's out there. It's on Facebook, uh, YouTube, and on Instagram. And my name across the, my social media properties is Evangelist Faith by Remo. So please look for me, uh, follow me on Instagram, like me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page. And on YouTube, please subscribe. I've, I've sung a couple of songs and I pray that they're going to bless you as you listen to them. I've also preached and I pray that that's going to bless you. Also look up our website, www.msgchurch.org. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that marks the end of our first uh, Strength of a Woman of the day and this is queen's wednesday we, se we are celebrating the queens on y in the morning so keep interacting with us on facebook on twitter and on instagram uh, so we can have a powerful conclusion to this uh, conversation that we are having uh, today thank you very much evangelist uh, for coming through thank you so uh, much for hosting we wish me. you all the best in your endeavors thank you. and uh unite africa when you get there will do <laughs> all right uh, we'll be back with tomorrow why in the morning don't go nowhere